Good day, YouTube. My name is Captain Darren. My amateur radio call sign is N4VFR. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to combat some RF noise or uh, RF uh, energy that's built up inside my shack. So when I'm keying up on my HF radio on my Sun SDR2, it's causing some sort of feedback. I can hear it in the audio of my headset. Stay tuned and watch me combat this RFI. This is the radio that I use, the Expert Electronics Sun SDR2DX. It's tied in with my antenna tuner, LDG AT1000 Pro 2. This is my microphone the Heil PR40 attached to the boom. I did try to prevent RFI when I initially set up my radio shack here and I used a lot of ferrite beads and that's throughout all the connections whether it be cat5 cable or whether it be um, HDMI cable and let me do a quick show to you guys what I have so far. Let's start looking at my Sun SDR2 radio. I have a ferrite bead attached to the Cat5 cable and I also attach one to my Heil foot keyer, push to talk foot switch. Looking to the mic itself, the mic cable, I added three ferrite beads to my Dell docking system. You'll see a ferrite bead there. And also, uh, this is my actually docking station there. Uh, look in the back. Cat5 cables, USB cables are all ferrite beaded, I guess you want to call that. and my Scarlet USB connection there, another ferrite bead. Underneath the table, my subwoofer has ferrite bead also attached, and my speakers, the desktop speakers, we have ferrite bead attached on both speakers left and right. Sometimes I talk on 40 meters and it sounds great. I don't hear any RFI but today when I try to get on 20 meters I heard something in my headset. It sounded really faint, scratchy and I suspect it's RFI in the shack. So Next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, show you my uh, Sun SDR2 and uh, hook up the audio so you can actually hear my transmission and to identify that RFI. Welcome again to my desktop. This is the cool view of the Sun SDR2DX. Now we're on the 40 meter band. I have no problem with RFI on the 40 meter band. Um, I mentioned earlier the 20 meter band was when I was picking up RFI in my headset. So I just wanted to demonstrate my audio clarity and my transmit um, frequency on the Sun SDR2. So let me turn on the audio so you can hear what's going on. This is November 4, Victor Foxtrot Romeo, and 4 VFR. November 4, Victor Foxtrot Romeo, testing 1, 2, 3, 3, 2, 1. This is N4 VFR. So, did you hear the clarity? There is no RFI feedback um, being picked up by the the microphone, 
and in my headset, it sounds clear. Next step, I'm going to demonstrate on 20 meters the sound of RFI in my shack. Okay, this is 20 meters. This is the band that uh, I'm having problems with RFI. And um, I'm going to demonstrate the problem to you guys. Here we go. Speakers coming on so you can hear the audio. This is November 4, Victor, Foxtrot, Romeo, and 4 VFR testing, audio test. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. This is November 4, Victor, Foxtrot, Romeo. Test complete. So I hope you heard that. It doesn't sound clear like the audio on 40 meters. Next step, I'm going to try to eliminate that RFI. So how am I going to combat this RFI on 20 meters? Simple. Bam! Add more ferrite beads. Now these ferrite beads, I got these either from DX Engineering or from Amazon or from eBay. I don't remember. I got lots of them and I got them spread out all over the place and I've ran out. So these are my last two and I'm going to buy some more just to have spares in the Radio Shack. I already have several ferrite beads attached to my mic. Now it's time to add additional. Nothing special, just unplug the mic cable and I'm going to make two loops so that I have more cable going in between the ferrite bead. So this thickness actually can support two turns. Okay. I'm going to add one more the same way. I'm trying to snap it in. Sometimes if they don't snap in, you can get some zip ties, wire ties, and then tie it together. So there you go. I just added two more. Plug this back in and let's test it again. All right, we're back. Nothing has changed on the settings. Nothing has changed in me adjusting any kind of audio. All I did was add two more ferrite beads onto the microphone cable. They input to my Scarlett uh, USB interface. So I'm gonna bring the audio so you can hear the radio. Testing one, two, three, three, two, one. This is November 4, Victor, Foxtrot, Romeo. This is November 4, Victor, Foxtrot, Romeo. Testing one, two, three, three, two, one. Test complete. Wow, that was awesome, wasn't it? Just two ferrite beads eliminated all the RF interference that I had on my feedback on the headset man if you like my video please consider to subscribe to my channel give me a like leave me some comments share some of your experience with others on the comments below my name is captain darren my amateur radio call sign is n4 bfr 
Thanks for watching. And for those guys, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please consider to subscribe. It motivates me to make more videos for you guys. Until next time, have a great day and stay safe.